God is asking. How come you have used it as permission for perpetual sin in the church? The patience of God. The endurance of God. The long suffering of God. What is the message to the church? Today in the church, you are people that are behaving the way Israel behaved. They commit sin and they see that nothing happens. Then they commit sin again. They see that the Lord did not strike them with lightning, for example. They abuse the Lord. They see that he didn't strike them with lightning. Again, like that. And so you have a generation of perpetual sinners. In the church, abusing the long suffering of God. And he said that this world this world this generation mankind the church they have misunderstood the compassion of God. They have misunderstood the graciousness of God. They have misunderstood the long suffering of God. The fact that the Lord can long suffer and you are for a long time. Be careful now. Don't misuse. Don't abuse. And misunderstand the long suffering of the Lord. And he says the long suffering of God comes out of his compassionate nature. His gracious nature comes out of his abounding love. And he says, not wanting any man to perish in hell. And that's why he brings the long suffering of God. He displays his long suffering. Tolerating you as you are still in sin. Waiting for you. And he says that that long suffering is for a purpose. It is deliberate. And he says it is for the purpose of giving you time that everybody be given time everybody be given time that they may be able to find repentance I that the long suffering of God is because God does not want you to go to hell that everybody may come to the knowledge of the Christ. And he says, it was for salvation. The Lord is asking, how come this generation cannot see his loving compassion? Cannot see his loving kindness? Cannot see his long suffering? And then honor him? And then obey him? And then love him? And then respect him? and then worship him and then praise him and then glorify him and then adore him how come the long suffering of Yahweh the Lord is asking how come you have used it as permission for perpetual sin in the church how come you've not understood my heart has got the father the heart of the Lord he's saying how come you didn't understand me how come and 
The Lord is asking. Bwana anauliza. How come? Yeweze kanaje? You misunderstood me. Mlikosa kunielewa. And my long suffering. Na kuvumilia kwangu. I am crying for you. Ninawalilia. The Lord. Bwana is beginning to let this generation know. Anaanza sasa kuisababisha kizazi hiki kijue that he cannot wait forever. Ya kwamba hawezi kungoja milele. That is long suffering. Ya kwamba uvumilivu wake cannot go on forever. Hawezi kuendelea milele. That time is coming when he needs to execute his calendar ya kwamba, his prophetic timeline like bringing the church into glory ya kwamba wakati unawadia ambapo anahitaji kutekeleza ile majira yake ya kiunabii kama vile kulileta kanisa katika utukufu he wants to summon the church to appear before him because there are calendar events that are logged in already kwa anataka kuliita kanisa ili kwamba lije mbele zake kwa sababu ni matukio ya kalenda ambayo tayari yamepangwa for example kwa mfano the word ceremony kuna zile sherehe za kutuzwa crowning the church za kulituza kanisa so the long suffering of god cannot go on forever kwa hivyo uvumilivu wa mungu hauwezi kuendelea milele the lord is warning this generation bwana anaonya hiki kizazi do not abuse my long suffering msitusi uvumilivu wangu do not wangu. confuse my long Musi suffering msichanganyishe na uvumilivu wangu honor me please mniheshimu utafadhali obey me please msi tafadhali worship me please Mnihaburu praise me please Glorify me. Return to me. I don't pleasure in people die. Mimi sifurahi kwa watu wakifa. Oi. Oi. The events. Matukio. There are heavenly events. Kuna matukio ya mbinguni. That have been set by God. Ambayo yamewekwa na Mungu. That at this hour. Ya kwamba kwa wasahu. The church is being called upon. Kanisa lilaitwa to prepare by repentance ili kwamba lipate kujiandaa kwa toba and the turning away from sin na kugeuka kikamilifu kutoka kwa dhambi and being holy na kuwa takatifu the church is being called upon now kanisa linaitwa sasa hivi to repent and turn away from sin kutubu na kugeuka kutoka kwa dhambi and embrace righteousness na kukumbatia uhaki that when that day does arrive ya kwamba siku hiyo itakapowadia the day that is not known siku ambayo haijulikani the day whose hour is not even known siku ambayo hata saa yake haijulikani that the church ya kwamba kanisa that has so beloved the, the lord ambayo limependwa sana na bwana that has so loved the lord ambayo limempenda sana bwana may now get to enter into the kingdom of the lord sasa lipate kuingia katika ufalme wa bwana repent repent receive